Now see the working of the circuit. When both the switch is open, 0 means switch is open and 1 means switch is closed. When both the switch is open, then our circuit will be, as it is open, so up to this, there will be no current, so the transistor will be open. The transistor is open means, here it is 5 volt, here it is 220 ohms resistor, transistor is open. It will be like this. And here the LED is connected. So in this condition, this LED will glow. So it is glowing. If you see the second and third condition, then only one switch is closed. So let's say this switch is closed. This time also, this 5 volt is not connected to the ground. So there will be no current flow through this. So the only way to flow the current is through the LED. When both the switch is closed, at this time, now the current will directly flow from the 5 volt to the ground. From this point to the ground, it is directly connected, but in between these two, this ground and this, there is a LED. Current always flow through low resistive way, so this is why the LED will be turned off when both the switch is closed. So this is why in the last condition we are getting zero. Now we will see this on the breadboard. Putting input switches, one pin of the switch is connected to the plus 5 volt. With the other side, input LED and the resistor is connected. Putting both the transistor, with the base of the transistor, 10 kilo ohms resistor is connected. Output side of the switch is connected to the 10 kilo ohms resistor. It is transistor 1, transistor 2. So its emitter will be connected to its collector. Here is emitter and the collector. Its emitter will be connected to the ground and its collector will be connected to the plus 5 volt through 220 ohms. And in this point, we will connect the output LED. Here is positive side of the LED and it is negative side. Connecting both the positive rail and the negative rail. Now connecting the power supply. Here is negative and it is 5 volt positive. Both the input is 0, output will be 1. If one input is 1, and when both the input is 1, then only our output will be 0. So this is how you can make NAND get using transistor. Thanks for watching.